in the area that I, I believe sincerely that it's unconstitutional, contrary to, to, to law, uh, and I have standing, then the option is to go to court. If it's like the, um, the, the, the travel ban for, um, from the seven countries, Connecticut doesn't have an international airport. We don't have a border, and we so and our business community isn't like the. Um, and I'm, I'm not being critical. But the, the the technology industries in, in Washington State uh, recruit aggressively among you know, um, East Asians and Asians uh, and, and PhDs from those countries, and so uh, that's much less the case for the. The, the Connecticut defense industries, for example. And so it was fairly easy for um, Washington State, and Bob Ferguson, the AG from Washington, is a really, really good attorney general, uh, that they had um, very quickly the makings of a real, they were able to point to a, a, a real harm to their citizens, and that gave them standing to bring that lawsuit. Uh, Connecticut, we can develop a case and take time, but um, I made the strategic decision that that filing a, yet another lawsuit wouldn't doesn't promote the cause. We had a viable lawsuit emanating from Washington State, and so we made the decision rather than to um, expend resources trying to put together a case of our own that we're better off uh, working with New York and Massachusetts to come up with an amicus brief in support of Washington State's position. So you, you got to pick your battles and in this business and so depending on what he does um, it's either we're in court we, we, a friend of the court that makes make brief it might be just a sign on letter opposing something we're not doing anything at all and and hopefully there's there's common ground in some of these other areas but as a matter of prediction um, the clean air and clean water acts give State attorneys general, local enforcement authority, and so, so environmental issues will be, I think, will be front and center, and then, um, you know, we're, we are meeting with you know, Planned Parenthood, for example, both the national level and state level, um, to kind of engage discussions about what, um, what are depending on what Trump and the Congress do in terms of defunding, what options might exist. But it's much less clear that there would be a legal case that I could be um, bringing there.